What's up everyone? My name is Alex Shrednozlak and I'm a film critic at Filmbook. Today, I'll be reviewing the 2020 dramedy film, Another Round. Another Round was written and directed by Thomas Vinterberg, co-written by Tobias Lindholm and stars Mads Mikkelsen, Thomas Bo Larsen, and Magnus Malang. So what the heck is this thing about? Four friends, all high school teachers, test a theory that they will improve their lives by maintaining a constant level of alcohol in their blood. While all fun and games at first, this film shows how this test not only affects their lives, but also the lives of their friends, families, and colleagues. Just a little background on this movie. I learned that this film came after some tragedy in Thomas Vinterberg's life. I'm not gonna get into the details, so you can look that up on your own, but it makes sense that he'd make a movie like this. It's a real shame that Danish movies like this don't have the same mass appeal as movies like Parasite or Roma. I would have loved to support something like this in the theater. There's a lot of really great Danish movies out there. So how was it? I think it's great. It definitely would have made my top 10 of last year if I would have had the chance to watch it sooner, but I can also see where people are going to have some problems with its mixed messaging. Let's get more into that. So like I said before, this movie is about four teachers who are all having some sort of midlife crisis and they decide to test a theory where they're trying to stay at a consistent drunkness, a 0.05 BAC, just to be exact. I don't think this story is wholly original. Like, yes, that whole theory that they're trying to test is definitely interesting, but it's really just a movie about how alcohol affects people's lives. All of these characters are dissatisfied with their lives in some sort of way. Their relationships with their families on the rocks. Their students don't take them seriously. I guess you could say this movie is sort of like Fight Club, but if Fight Club just had four dudes and they drank a lot. And these characters experience the benefits of what they're doing, just like in any sort of pleasurable scenario. But then it takes a turn once they decide to kind of up their game a little bit. It's a cautionary tale about alcoholism, so that's why I don't think it's wholly original. What really makes this movie great is the cast, especially Mads Mikkelsen. Like, if you don't know who this man is by now, you are severely missing out. 20 minutes into this movie, I'm just sitting here watching this guy have a silent breakdown, and I can feel every emotion that he's feeling in that moment. How is that even possible? This movie mainly focuses on him, so everyone else is just kind of around him. But we can still see how this event affects all of their lives lives together. Everything else about this movie technically was well done. Like there wasn't anything that stood out too much. This movie uses a lot of handheld, but I will say it was done a lot better than most movies who use this technique. Like the camera work and the editing just work together very seamlessly. So that's definitely a positive. I also want to mention a theory that I have. I really believe that every great movie has at least one dance scene in it. Not necessarily dancing movies where that's what the whole movie is about essentially, but there's a dance scene in this movie and I really did not know that I needed that in my life. Like I said, Mads Mikkelsen, man. What a performer. As far as the negatives, again, I mentioned earlier in this review, I feel like some people are going to have a bit of a problem with the mixed messaging as far as alcohol consumption. This movie has a lot of dark moments to kind of drive that alcohol is dangerous theme, but then it tends to go on the other side of that argument too a lot. I didn't personally have a problem with it, but I can see where a lot of people will. The movie's also a little slow at times, but honestly, you get that with any sort of drama, so it didn't really bother me that much. So I'm gonna rate another round an eight and a half out of 10. I hope this movie or this review gets more people to watch Mad Mickelson movies. I'd say the biggest thing he's done recently is probably his role in the Hannibal NBC TV show, but he's a really, really great character actor too. He's also going to be Johnny Depp's replacement in the Fantastic Beast franchise. So hopefully that will get the masses to open up more to him. So that wraps up this review. Have you seen it? What's your favorite Mads Mikkelsen movie? Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like my reviews, you can see more of them at the Filmbook website. That's film book Com. Just search for this really long foreign sounding last name that I typed out for you right there. If you want to see other content I make, make sure you check out my personal YouTube channel that's linked down below. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so that we are notified as soon as new reviews are published. If you agreed or disagree with my review, definitely leave me a comment down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you all think. Please also consider supporting us on Patreon. Link also in the description. Your support helps us create more engaging content. Thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.